Okay, I just wanted to do a video for this bike. This is mine. It is not currently for sale either. Now, this bike was bought brand new in 48 at Andover Harley Davidson in Andover, Massachusetts. Now, Andover is, a, I don't know, maybe 15 miles outside of Boston, north of Boston. It's a really affluent town now, but back then it probably wasn't so much. And a black dude named Benny, I can't remember his uh, last name, I got it written down inside, bought this bike brand new. And he rode it to California and back, and then just rode it here and there after he did that. Now, the guy I bought this bike from, he knew the bike from when, he, I think he was in his mid, I think he's in his mid 60s or even pushing 70. And he knew this bike because he rode a Norton Commando and lived in the same town Benny did or the town next door. He used to see this bike being ridden around. And he loved it and he always told him, if you ever get rid of it, I want it. He stayed in touch and ended up purchasing the bike, I believe in 99 or 2000 when Benny got sick and eventually I believe he passed away right before or right after this, he, he got this bike. It was a 10,000 mile original paint bike and he restored it. Now, I know a lot of people don't like that. I wouldn't have restored it either, but hey, when this guy restored it, okay, he has, he had like six or eight Sportsters he restored. And when I say restored, I mean immaculate. Insane, anal, perfect everything. That's why I had to have this bike in on it. This is a two owner bike, I'm the third owner. It was so meticulously restored Meticulously, I say that word right. It was so meticulously restored, and it runs so good, and it's so nice. I couldn't turn it down. The bike was originally blue. He painted it the correct red. Got the factory paint from I believe John Pierce. Um, all the plating you see on this bike, the lights, even these sleeves, anything you see that's chrome or plated on this bike, this is factory equipment that he sent out and had plated. The badges on the tanks. It's all real deal that came on this bike from the factory. I know the guy, Gano, that rebuilt the engine and transmission. This thing had standard pistons in it still. And he said he could have just honed the cylinders and ran standards, but he went 10 over just because he said, fuck it. It's got 10 over pistons. The whole engine is original and rebuilt. The transmission, when he popped the top, he said it looked brand new inside, cleaned everything, put it all back together. I don't, I think he might have, did he change the gears? I don't know if he did. He changed the main shaft, it did the seals, etc., the bushings. Took the pubs all apart, all rebuilt, all new bearings, painted them, plated all the nuts and stuff. This thing is just so nice and so perfect. Had a buddy seat made as well for this thing. That's a three piece. Everything that's on this bike came on this bike. And that's the difference. You can get a bike like a 48 pan like this or, or, or a knucklehead or whatever. You can, if you want a restored bike, you can find the pieces and build one. Right, especially since Harley Davidson doesn't have frame numbers until 1970, you could feasibly buy this thing in pieces and build. But there's there's a difference between an original paint bike that's been together its whole life, the hardware, everything, and then restoring it. Okay, this is like a brand new 1948 Harley Davidson. It runs excellent. It needs nothing. Again, it's not currently for sale. I don't need to sell it, and I probably wouldn't sell it unless someone made me an outrageous offer because this is an outrageous bike. This is as good as it gets. This is the nicest restored bike I've ever had. The way it runs, the fit finish, it is perfect. Are there some things that aren't perfect? Yes, the gas caps are reproduction, the mirrors, little things here and there, but this is like 98% original bike. Okay, the muffler is obviously a reproduction. He said that, that the, the, the original one was gone. It had some, you know, like a little shorty on it or some shit. Bike's bone cold. It is 1,500 miles since it got restored. Badges are perfect, all redone, all original plated. He put the D-rings on, so he doesn't want it to leak, but these are the original rocker covers. Bike's original. Again, it's totally cold. Give it a couple prying kits, it should light right up.
boat is still real fragile. So. Show how nice it is. Beautiful, all the new chrome. And even the this is factory trim. He had redone the tint, the fucking light. All redone the bleeding. Still got the original cycle rate. It came on this bike. I mean, this is just a really special, special bike. I do this for a living, and this is the nicest one I've ever seen. The outer primary was replaced because the other one was all dented and fucked. But I have stock ones. And the paint is perfect, the factory red. He even put like where the saddlebags would go. He put little buttons in there so it looks nice, not just a blind hole. No engine noise whatsoever, no ticks, no leaks, nothing. What a sweetheart. And this came from the factory, bike's been in Massachusetts his whole life. I'm from Massachusetts, but uh, I live in southern New Hampshire now. That's the plate that went on the bike in 49. That's the actual plate. A little cold, I should probably 